How you doing? I'm Ricky Panisi. I'm the uh, founder of the Ricci hair product for curly hair. Um, today we're at Dario Salon in uh, New York. I'm going to be doing Lisa's hair. We're trying to, uh, what we're doing on Lisa is we're going to control the, the frizz, get a lot more detail on her curl, um, a lot more shine, and get a lot less, uh, more definition. So what I did on Lisa so far is shampoo, we conditioned her, we combed the conditioner through. You rinse it out. You never want to comb curly hair and then style it. What happens is you wind up getting a lot less curl and a lot more frizz. So we rinsed it out. From the base of her ponytail out, I reapplied the conditioner, the same conditioner we used at the sink, um, and then I styled the gel right over it. And, you know, section by section, we went through, smoothed the sections out, created a little bit of movement, get that waveform in there. Once you get the gel all the way through from roots to ends, I just had her kind of slide down in the chair and we're gonna diffuse her hair. So you never wanna go in with curly hair and scrunch the hair because you're gonna wind up opening up the cuticle and you're gonna get a lot less curl, a lot more frizz, and a lot less shine. So I'm just gonna go in with my diffuser and we're just gonna kinda of work the product through and let the diffuser just kinda of do everything. A lot of times what happens with curly hair is a, the, most of the products that are out there are a lot of a lot of alcohol content and they're very drying. What we did is we decided to attack curl from a different angle. We decided to over moisturize and over hydrate the hair so that if it's almost like a, a, a sponge, if it's 100% filled with moisture, you really can't fit anything else in there. So it doesn't really matter what's going on outside or if she gets caught in the rain or if she wants to refresh it the next day because once the curl's set and it's locked in, nothing's gonna affect that curl. When you have a totally hydrated curl, you get a lot less frizz and a lot more control of the curl and a lot more movement. And it allows you to do different things with it. So as Lisa uses the product more and more, because the gel is so hydrating, she's using the conditioner when she styles, she's actually going to have a better curl over time with a lot less frizz and a lot softer. And she'll have a lot more movement and more control of her curl. And what's great, depending upon what's going on outside, she can mix and match the different products within our line. So if one day she's going to out and she wants a lot bigger, fuller curl, she can actually use the gel and the hairspray by itself without the conditioner, and she'll get a lot more curl out of it, a lot more volume. If she wants to go with something a little more subtle, she can put the conditioner on first, let it air dry, she'll get a softer, looser curl, more control over it. I'm actually gonna stand up. So all I'm doing with my one hand is just kind of lifting her hair up and just getting the product, getting the, uh, getting the diffuser underneath. Thanks. So I'm just kind of lifting with one hand, getting the diffuser underneath with the other, just to kind of open up that cuticle and get a lot more separation in the curl. Now what Lisa was saying before is, one of the biggest issues she has is because of all of her highlights, she has a lot of sections that are pretty dry. And it's hard because you'll have one section that'll curl and another section that won't. <clears throat> but our product is designed so it's almost like if you were going to like put like pavement over a street and just kind of fill in all the cracks. So the conditioner kind of works as that pavement and it's going to fill in all those cracks in her hair with moisture so you get a nice even curl no frizz and a lot more control over it and you get this beautiful separation going on through here now she could do one of two things if she didn't want if she didn't have the time to dry it <clears throat> she could actually style her hair at night sleep on it and then what we did is we added another product, so it's a, a cap full of my conditioner and a spray bottle of water. So she could spray this on all over, it's gonna reactivate that curl. She can actually use it the next day or three or four days after, she can keep using it. Because it's water-based, it's always gonna reactivate and it's never gonna have that sticky silicone feel that most products have. We wanted to make sure that we kept a real soft pliable, movable curl, because a lot of times what happens is girls will compromise soft for control, so they feel like their hair has to be crunchy 
in order to have a more of a controlled look. So we wanted to make sure we could do both. Have the control that they needed so it doesn't get real big and real wide. And also keep it soft and movable so that people could touch it and they wouldn't get hurt. Okay, so we need to sit all that. So I'm just putting a little bit of the hairspray in. All that's going to do is make sure that it locks in everything that I'm doing. It's going to help lock out the frizz, but it's also going to help to set that curl. And what's great is you can keep reapplying the hairspray over and over again if you want it to get more volume. A lot of times you'll have a client that has a lot of curl but finer hair and they like a little bit more lift. So the hairspray is progressive. The more you go in with it and the more you keep applying it, the thicker and fuller the hair will get. And it kind of gives the feel of almost like that, that next day beach hair. You never want to start, the client never wants to start their hair diffusing it flipped over because what will happen is they're going to wind up getting a lot more volume on their knee than through the back and it's going to be harder to get that out. So you want to kind of create the curl throughout everywhere and then work your product through. Okay, at least you can flip back. When the client's doing their hair at home, they're just going to kind of tilt their head to one side and just let the diffuser do everything else and just kind of pick up with the diffuser. That's going to minimize frizz and volume and just create a little bit of lift. But if they go and they start scrunching the hair, they're going to open up that cuticle too much and they're going to create a lot of frizz and it's going to be harder for them to deal with. So you're just going to keep going throughout. And when you work that top, just kind of get your fingers in there. Get a little bit of lift at the root. Create a little bit of volume. Make sure you work those ends. When you're diffusing, make sure you work from the ends all the way up to the mid shaft. A lot of times people will start at the mid shaft and they'll wind up getting volume in the wrong spots. And the ends stay frizzy. What's great about our product, what's unique, is you can go in and diffuse to 100% dry, and it's not going to frizz up. Where most products out there are going to get frizzy and dry. I have no idea what to say. I'll finish, we want to just wait and I'll finish with the honey, and it's going to be dry. Yeah. All right, so even though it's not 100% dry, you can see the detail on the curl. There's no frizz. All her highlights are coming back out because you have that nice definition in the curl and a beautiful shine from the product. So now the cuticle is closed. So Lisa could do one of two things. She could finish diffusing at this point. She could let it just air dry the rest of the way because once the curl's set and it's soft and it's movable, she's fine. And she's, she's going to stay like this. Whether it's 100% humidity or rain or anything, it's going to pretty much stay locked in like this. So you get a beautiful, soft, pliable curl with great shine.